Welcome to Raju in Canada channel. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to talk about express entry draws and uh, what has happened in the previous draw and what's going to happen in the next draw. So let's start. For a long long time we didn't see any draw where all the programs were invited but since July 6th of this year the, the draws have resumed and uh, everyone is waiting in the pool and they want their opportunity. So we are hoping that through our videos it's going to be helpful for them to see okay whether they're going to be in the next uh, draw or not so that's why we are doing this now let's first talk about our last prediction which we did for our august 17 draw and through our analysis we said like for it around 2 to 5 0 there's going to be serious range between 525 to 527 so that was our prediction that uh, the serious minimum serious should be around that threshold and we saw when the draw actually happened on 17th of August, it was CRS 525 and it was the score where the try breaker was introduced. So our prediction was bang on and I just want to say that we try our best to give our analysis and predict what's going to happen. But this uh, express entry pool is totally dynamic and things can change pretty quickly. This time we were absolutely correct. Uh, moving on to the draws that has happened in year 2022. So uh, as we can see like from January till July 6th so these were all the PNP draws and then on July 6th we saw the first all program draw and as we can see in these four draws the invitations are rising by 250 so next draw we can expect on 31st of August that there are going to be 2500 invitations now let's focus on the all program draw that has happened in this year. So these are the four draws and we have already discussed the invitations and uh, we see the uh, serious cutoff is declining with every draw. So 557, 542, 533, 525. So next time it's going to be lower for sure. And uh, moving on forward. So this was the pool distribution before uh, August 17th draw. So this was as of August 15 and we see like uh, for 600 to 1200 there were 538 candidates and then from 501 to 600 there were 8221 candidates. So it's 8,759 candidates in total for this range. And if you talk about range 481 to 500 there were 14,564 candidates. and. Uh, Let's uh, move forward. So this is just after the draw. So we computed like how many candidates were left after the invitation. So first of all, out of two to five zero, five thirty eight invitations were offered to the uh, candidates with CRS between six zero one and twelve hundred. So we can imagine that these candidates would definitely be belonging to PNP or FSW or CEC with job offers. So those candidates and for this range five zero one to six hundred. So after decreasing 538 invitations from 2 to 5-0, we are left with 17-12 invitations. So 8-2-2-1 minus 17-12 is 6 5, 0, 9. So after the draw of August 17, we are left with 6 5, 0, 9 candidates in range 501 and 1200. And the range between 481 and 500 is uh, same. Moving forward, we have a pool distribution for different draws. So we have already discussed July 6th, July 20th and August 3rd draw in the previous prediction video and if you didn't watch it, you can refer to the link above. And let's first of all discuss about August 17th draw. So this is we have computed that uh, the number of new candidates between range 601 and 1200 are 538 and for range 501 and 600 is 606 and uh, for 491 and 500 is 92 and for 481 to 490 is 85 so for this range there were 1321 uh, new candidates and uh, so th these at estimates like 538 8221 5435 9129 were given by the ircc that before draw these were candidates that was in the pool and then we computed as we showed uh, in the earlier slides that 538 ITS were issued between the range 601-1200 and the remaining were between 501 and 600 and so after the draw these should be the numbers look like uh, 
uh, 0 for this range and then 6509, 5435, 9129 and in total 21073 candidates for range 481 to 1200 and there is very interesting thing to note uh, if you look at the July 6 draw so after the draw uh, we approximated that there were 20,839 candidates and uh, after July 20th there were 21,879 so from here to here numbers are increasing and here also after August 3rd the numbers are slightly increased uh, to uh, 22,002 and we see here in the August 17th draw uh, there are 21,073 candidates left after the draw so this is really interesting and uh, this is positive not very positive but a bit positive because IRCC are increasing 250 candidates invitations with every draw and uh, I hope when these invitations rise to 4000-4500 then the pool uh, candidates should be less in number after the draw and this should drop significantly to let's say 5000-10000 so let's wait for the future draws now for the next draw score prediction there are a few important points to consider so first of all I want to say like most of the existing candidates will be below CRS 525 or below. There are a few reasons I am saying this. First reason being since after the last draw, the CRS was 525 and so every uh, PNP candidate should have a CRS of 600 or above, right? Who are in the express entry of course. And so those candidates already got the invitation. So the number of candidates after the draw should be zero for the range 601 to 1200 right and if I talk about range 501 to 600 then in this range so uh, we already said like the CRS with 525 or more have already got the invitations so the candidates which are left are 501 to 525 and definitely we need to consider the new candidates which gonna be in the pool for sure in the meantime Second point to consider is CRS score will definitely go down as per the trend and uh, let's emphasize on the first drop. So from 557 it dropped to 542 which was sharp 15 points and in the second drop it was 542 to 533 9 points and then in the third drop 533 to 525 8 points. So in the fourth draw like 525 to question mark. So like we all are curious which is going to be the next CRS cutoff. So like we have done our cal calculation like what could be this number and uh, let's move forward to that slide. So uh, for the next draw prediction, so we have already computed like after the draw these are the candidates in the pool. Now for the August 31 draw prediction, we have approximated like what would be the new candidates be like. So, uh, so this new candidates number we have took the mean of all the previous four draw that has happened till now. And for range 601 to 1200, we predicted that there's going to be 586 new candidates. And for this range 501 to 600, there's going to be 938, 936 candidates. And for this range 491 to 500, 255, and then 481 to 490, 300. So uh, approximately 2077 candidates in between range 481 to 1200. Now we approximated how many candidates should be in the pool before the draw so this number we come out with 586 uh, with range uh, 601 to 1200 and then 7445 and 5690 9429 and 23150 candidates in total so how does we come out with this number so we basically summed uh, our after draw number with the new candidates and this is the number we come up with now coming to the ITS that will be issued in this draw, so we can approximate there is going to be 2500 invitations as per the trend and first of all the ITS will be issued to CRS 601 to 1200 which are 586 in number and after that it's going to come to 501 to 600 so we have 7445 candidates approximately before the draw so then in this case uh, 22500 minus 586 is 1914 so 1914 invitations will be offered and the number of candidates should be reduced to 5531 after the uh, invitations and uh, so we see in total there will be 20,650 
candidates that will be in the pool even after the August 31 draw. So this is totally dynamic and this is our approximation and things can be changed very quickly and it could be a different picture but this is our analysis like we are approximating this going to be the trend and based on this trend we have come up with different numbers so uh, so for the prediction so i want to say for 501 to 525 there are 25 serious points and let's discuss a scenario so let's imagine if between this cutoffs 501 and 525 we have an even distribution of candidates, which means like, uh, like we have 7445 number in total right now in the pool, right? So if they are evenly distributed between this range, then according to this scenario, uh, 1914 divided by 7445. And so this is the number that were offered the invitations between range 501 to uh, 600. And uh, then this was the size of the pool between range 501 to 600 and we multiply this with uh, 25 points and according to this we get 6.42 approx, approx drop in CRS score so we can imagine that uh, our CRS 525 should be decreased by 6.42 points so this is our analysis but I want to say that uh, new candidates will be keep on coming although we have considered that in our calculation but it's dynamic and plus there's one more thing to consider we have, uh, we have said like uh, consider the case of even distribution of candidates but in the real world scenario we could imagine that there would be more candidates uh, closer to 501 and lesser towards the 525 and this has been the case with every every CRS score and uh, also like it's very difficult for candidates with FSW or CC to get that much high CRS and but there are few candidates who has that uh, CRS but mostly are between 500, 510 or 480 so a lot of uh, candidates between this range and then at the top there are less numbers so that is our analysis on this and now coming to the final CRS uh, prediction so according to all the analysis we have this number in mind the cutoff should be between 517 and 519 CRS and uh, that is our prediction for today. Now uh, if you have any comments about our prediction then you can share them and uh, also if you have another way of uh, calculating this and if you have a better prediction than ours then please share in the comments. We try our best to give you the best insights from our end that will help you to get your invitation as fast as possible and i hope you like our videos so please like share and subscribe and see you in the next video